Today we debate waffles versus pancakes. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. On our last debate arama, we debated tacos versus burritos. And your voice was heard in the comments and tacos won. I, yeah, uh, that was a strike to the gut for me, uh, but you know what, it's your problem. We're moving on. Today we take on an equally controversial issue, waffles versus pancakes. Mm, I will incendiary. Be taking, I will be taking waffles, Link will be Gladly uh, arguing taking for pancakes. pancakes. Again, we're gonna follow the uh, established debate pattern of opening remarks of 90 seconds plus a 30 second cross-examination, mm -hmm. and then we switch and do the same thing in reverse, and then it goes into a series of 30 second what, what's it called? Rebuttals. Rebuttals. Very sophisticated. Rebuttals. Let's debate Arama. Hello. How you doing? Welcome back. I'm good. How's your bronchitis? Great. How's your psoriasis? How's Lucille? Lucille is great. Psoriasis is good. Good morning, Mr. Rhett. Good morning, Mr. Link. Thanks good for being here. Good morning. Uh, Rhett will start with his introduction. Ah, okay. I will take notes. I would like to thank uh, Mr. Link, the Mythical Beasts, and an anonymous 14th century man who sent the manuscript entitled La Magie de Paris to his young wife, the first recorded instance of the recipe for a waffle. If you were to serve a waffle <laughs> to an unsuspecting child, you might say, you want a waffle or a pancake? And Timmy might say, I don't care. It's got the same ingredients. And Timmy would almost be correct because many laymen think that they are the same ingredients, but in fact, a waffle has a slightly higher fat content and some additional eggs in the mix, which leads to a crispy nature, which is my first point in favor of waffles. That is, they are crispier. If I wanted to clean my kitchen, with a sponge, I would use a pancake. But if I wanted to eat something in my kitchen that was crispy, I would eat a waffle. Second point, waffle is a better word than pancake. Pancake is two words put together, pan and cake. Waffle is a whole new word. <laughs> and let's get down to the physics. Both pancakes and waffles are simply delivery mechanisms for syrup and butter. And you can see from the structure of a waffle, it is essentially a bunch of cups filled with syrup and butter. It is like drinking syrup and butter and then eating the cups that they were served in. Simply stated, the pancake went on a reality TV show called Extreme Makeover, Waffle Edition, and became a waffle. All right, thank you, Mr. Rhett. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Link, it's time for your cross-examination. Okay, so right off the bat, you mentioned that uh, waffles are more fattening, is that correct? Yes. Okay, uh, and you also mentioned that uh, you don't clean your kitchen with just a normal sponge. I you would actually use a pancake. I would use a pancake, yes. I'd um, be very good at it, too. Since when does a, the better word argument actually make uh, a food better? Today. <laughs> How many waffles can you make in a minute? Uh, probably less than one. I can make enough pancakes to feed an orphanage in like five minutes. This is not a race, Mr. Link. Well, this tell that a, to the orphans. This is, this All right, is, Mr. Link. This is a debate. <laughs> The end of your cross examination, <coughs> Mr. Link. It's time for your introduction. Thank you, Mr. Eddie, uh, for moderating. Thank you, Mythical Beast. Thank everyone uh, who Rhett has already thanked. I'd also like to thank the prehistoric societies who made pancakes the earliest and most widespread cereal in all of time. Uh, my points for superior breakfast batter configuration, being the pancake, are the four S's. The four S's: stackability, spreadability. Sizeability slash shapeability, and finally servability, which I may not even don't look at my notes. Uh, stackability, uh, you know, look at this massive mound of impressiveness. No one in their right mind would stack waffles more than too high. Enough said about that. Impressive mountain. Spreadability, you can easily and evenly distribute toppings throughout the top of a pancake. You get a dollop of some topping to put on a waffle and you start spreading it, it gets in the first three buckets, you got 13 more buckets that you're then scooping stuff out of and putting stuff back into. You can't get your toppings everywhere on a waffle. It's just that simple. Sizeability and shapeability. The shape and size of a waffle is determined by the waffle iron itself. You have no say in the matter. With pancakes, you're the artist. Do whatever you want. 
You want to make Mickey Mouse ears? You want to make little medallions? You want to make just initials for your girlfriend's name? Oh, you can do that. Google pancake art. You will see characters from The Walking Dead. You'll see all types of awesomeness. Google waffle art. Okay, You're just going to get Link. some tired version of Tetris. Mr. Link. Eh, eh, eh. Time up. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Red, it's time for your cross-examination. You called pan you called pancakes a cereal. That's right. H historically, they're a cereal, a cereal food. You called your stack of pancakes an impressive mountain. Correct? Correct. Just clarifying. Absolutely. And lastly, pancake art. I didn't have time to Google pancake art. I trust you that it's impressive. It's very impressive. Maybe an impressive mountain of pancake art. But the Beatles. Are we, are we the Beatles made in pancakes. Are we debating what's a better food or what's a better third grade art, art project? That's, you know, what's what's it take here? It, if it's uh, all, Mr. It, it all counts. <laughs> uh, Mr. Link, it's time for your rebuttal. Waffles are pretentious. They they demand to use a special device to be made. It's like a house guest demanding that you buy them a new mattress when they come over to your house. And then you gotta store the mattress because you can't use it for any other house guests. And then you gotta bring it back out every time. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's a catch 22 with waffles as well. You wanna put toppings on it, but when you put on toppings, it takes the crispiness away. So the desirable toppings make the desirability of the waffle go down. Okay, Mr. Mr. Red, it's time for your rebuttal. Simply stated, the waffle concept is so strong of a structure that it has been commandeered by other products. Ever heard of the pancake cone? Uh-uh, but you've heard of the waffle cone. You ever heard of pancake fries? Uh-uh, but you've heard of waffle fries. They even have this crazy freaking waffle thing at Taco Bell now. Look at this, this one's kind of old, but if that was a pancake, I would just toss it, well, if that was a pancake, I would have done that, but I just did it as a visual point. Waffle is better. Okay, Mr. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rett. Uh, Mr. Link, it's time for your second rebuttal. The, the Taco Bell waffle taco is an abomination. The McDonald's McGriddle is an amazing piece of machinery that will nourish you throughout the day. It's got the most calories of anything on the menu, if uh, my memory serves me correctly. Uh, the method for making waffles is cruel and unusual. You, you've got to trap it in something iron. The making of a pancake is free. It doesn't have a soul. It's freeing and graceful, challenging and artful. Are to, you saying that a pancake, that pancake has a mind? Okay, thank you. The Mr. pancake Link. has a mind? Of course Order. not. Order, please. My waffle has no brain. My waffle does not need my sympathy. My waffle needs to be eaten by me. And let me state, for the record, that on January 17th, 2013, we made an episode of this very show called Good Mythical Morning, where I made a very similar argument to the one that I made today. And you said, quote, I agree. I think I made a really good argument. Okay, go ahead, what do you think? I agree. <laughs> There's video evidence of this. I mean, case closed, man. I've already done this before and you so, said you agree. So just because I agreed in the past means right, that your right. argument's better? All I've right. done my research Let's now, man. Me. Oh, you've come to Pancakes the Pancakes are for artists, waffles are for torturers of orphans. Mr. Link, this is your final rebuttal round. <laughs> oh, that's it. I thought I was done. I didn't know I had another one. But the, it, I don't what? think you do have another one. Uh -oh. I think I don't, you're you know out. what? I don't need another one. My case rests. Now, you decide. You decide. Hi, my name's Cammie from Charlotte, North Carolina, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. We've got the 12 mythical days of Christmas going on over on our Facebook page. You can win all kinds of merch. Remember, it accumulates for each day, so every day you win that day's prize and everything from before, and if you wow. don't want to participate in that, you can just go to redlink.com slash store and buy you some yeah. merch. Click through to Good Mythical Marvel. We continue this heated debate in a more laid back and friendly fashion. Join us. Link thinks nine plus 10 equals 21. Hey, what's nine plus 10? 21. You stupid. It hurts my soul to watch a, uh, a waffle being trapped in that torture device. The that was a bad argument. But the freeing, oh, Mr. The openness of the taco lets the food breathe. <laughs>